I, Dr. Priya Chaudhary, Honorary Faculty of Department of Mathematics, Institute for Excellence in Higher Education, welcome you all on this e-content platform, I Gyan Meg. Dear student, my topic is Differential Equations Solvable for P. And this is for BSc second semester, major subject. Let's start. The topics to be covered are learning outcomes, links to previous topic, introduction, definition of differential equation of first order and higher degree, method of solving differential equation of first order and higher degree, working rule, examples, summary, links for further reading and references. Dear students, the learning outcomes are after studying this lesson, you all will be able to describe differential equation, explain the meaning of order and degree of differential equation, describe differential equation of first order and higher degree, method of solving differential equation of first order and higher degree, identify the equation solvable for P, apply the concept and solve the differential equation solvable for P. Dear student, links of the previous topics are understanding of the concept of differentiation which you have already been studied in 12th class, order and the degree of equation, solution of linear differential equations. Dear student, a differential equation is an equation that contain at least one derivative of an unknown function y equal to fx where y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. That means y is a function of x where okay y is a function of x so we can have some example of differential equation dy by dx equal to sin x, t square by by dx square plus k square y equal to 0. These are the some example of the differential equations. Dear student, now I will tell you the differential equation of first order and higher degree. The general form of differential equation of first order and higher degree is dy by dx ki power n plus a1 dy by dx ki power n minus 1 plus a2 dy by dx ki power n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus a n equal to 0 where each a i is the function of x and y if dy by dx can be written as p then the general form of this equation can be reduced to this form p ki power n plus a1 p ki power n minus 1 plus a2 p ki power n minus 2 and so on up till a n equal to 0. Hence this form can be written as f of x y p equal to 0. So this form can be rewritten in this form and this form can be rewritten as the function of x, y, p equal to 0. I hope you have come to understand Dear student, the methods of solving differential equation of the form f, x, y, p equal to 0 are Differential equation which are solvable for P, differential equation which are solvable for X, differential equation which are solvable for Y, Langrage differential equation, Clorid's differential equation. These five types of uh, method are there for solving the differential equation of the form f of x y p equal to 0 from which we will discuss today only one form 
differential equation which are solvable for p now dear student we will learn the working rule for solving differential equation solvable for p put p for dy by dx now factorize or solve for or solve for p that is we can uh, do in this manner after factorization we will get p minus f1 xy p minus f2 xy this is the second factor p minus f3 of xy p minus fn of xy equal to 0 where f f1 f2 f3 are the functions of x and y now on comparing each factor with 0 we get p minus fi of xz xy equal to 0 where i is between 1 to n which is a linear differential equation next suppose the solution of p minus fi xy equal to 0 that is the factor p minus fi xy equal to 0 is given by capital fi of xy ci 0 equal to 0 that means this will be a function of xy and c where c is an arbitrary constant then the general solution of this equation will be get by we will multiply all the solution we will getting here and equating it to 0 that is f1 of xyc f2 of xyc fn of xyc equal to 0 so this is how we can solve the differential equation solvable for p i hope you will understand from this uh, steps what we are going to do and i will elaborate this method with the help of an example Dear student, now I will take one example to elaborate the working rule. The example is solve p square minus 5p plus 6 equal to 0. You all know p is dy by dx. Now, on factorizing the left hand side of the given equation, we will get p minus 2 p minus 3 equal to 0. Now we will equate p minus 2 equal to 0. That is we will, we will individually equate the factors to 0. p minus 2 equal to 0 implies p equal to 0. That will implies you all know I have already told you that p is dy by dx. So I can replace p by dy by dx equal to 2 this implies now we will multiply this dy dx onto the numerator dy equal to 2 dx now on integrating this we will get y equal to 2x plus c1 okay now we will take all the terms on the left hand side y minus 2x minus c1 equal to 0 this will be the first factor now the second factor let us equate it also to 0 p minus 3 equal to 0 implies p equal to 3 implies dy by dx equal to 3 again p can be written as dy by dx that implies dy by dy equal to 3 dx now on integrating this again i'll get y over the left hand side and that is equal to 3x plus c2 c2 is again the constant of integration right now we'll take all the terms on the left hand side y minus 3x minus c2 equal to 0 now the required solution is as i uh, we have already discussed in the working rule we'll we'll write them in the these two answers or these two required solution in the factors form so y minus 2x minus c1 y minus 3x minus c2 equal to 0. You can replace c1 and c2 by a constant c also. 
सो दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड सोल्यूशन आई होप आपको समझ में आया होगा ये पूरा एग्जाम्पल लेट एस टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल डियर स्टूडेंट नाउ आई विल टेक द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल पी स्क्वायर माइनस कॉस एक्स प्लस सेक एक्स पी प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन विथ टिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन सो वी कैन नॉट फैक्टराइज दिस फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस टाइप ऑफ इक्वेशन वी विल यूज द फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग द रूट ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सो वी विल गेट पी इक्वल टू कॉस एक्स प्लस सेक एक्स प्लस माइनस अंडर रूट ऑफ कॉस एक्स प्लस सेक एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इंटू वन इंटू वन अपॉन टू इंटू वन दिस इज द फॉर्मूला विच यू हैव रेड इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस नाउ वी विल सिंप्लीफाई दिस कॉस एक्स प्लस सेक एक्स का होल स्क्वायर आई कैन राइट कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस टू कॉस एक्स सेक एक्स आफ्टर इफ यू ओपन दिस फॉर्मूला ए प्लस बी का होल स्क्वायर इन टू नाउ दिस इज वन so one can be written as cos x into sec x they will be cancelled each other we will get one over here now again we'll solve this and we'll get cos x plus sec x plus minus under root of cos square x plus sec square x minus 2 cos x sec x whole divided by 2 then i can again Uh, form the formula of a square plus b square minus 2ab so this will become a minus b ka whole square and this square and under root will cancel each other then we'll get p equal to cos x plus sec x plus minus cos x minus sec x whole divided by 2 so once we'll get positive root and once we'll get the negative root so for the positive root we'll get cos x plus cos x sec x will be cancelled upon 2 and 2 will be cancelled so p equal to cos x and for the negative root cos x plus sec x minus cos x plus sec x so cos x cos x will be cancelled we'll get 2 sec x upon 2 2 2 will be cancelled we'll get p equal to sec x आई होप आपको यहां तक सब समझ में आया होगा आगे चलते हैं नाउ माई डियर स्टूडेंट वी विल इक्विट ईच ऑफ द फैक्टर्स इफ पी इक्वल टू कॉस एक्स देन डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इक्वल टू कॉस एक्स दिस इंप्लाइज डी वाई इक्वल टू कॉस एक्स टी एक्स नाउ ऑन इंटीग्रेटिंग दिस इक्वेशन वील गेट वाई इक्वल टू साइन एक्स प्लस सी that implies y minus sin x minus c equal to 0 now we equate if p equal to sec x then dy by dx equal to sec x this implies dy equal to sec x dx this implies after integrating this equation we'll get y equal to log sec x plus 10x as the integration of sec x is log sec x plus 10x plus the constant of integration c okay then we'll take all the terms on one side so y minus log x sec x 10x minus c equal to 0 and after this we get the required equation solution y minus sin x minus c y minus cos log x log of sec x plus 10x minus c equal to 0 this is the required solution so in this way we can find the solution of the differential equation solvable for p now we'll next to some questions my dear students now the summary of this whole e content is learning outcomes links to previous knowledge is introduction of differential equation method of solving differential equation solvable for p and some examples my dear students these are the books some books for further reading md rai singhania ordinary and partial differential equation by s chand and corporation limited 2027 17 
E. A. Coddington, An Introduction of Ordinary Differential Equation, Princeton Hall of India, 1961, and Dr. P. K. Mittal, Mathematics for Degree Student, by again S. Chan. Dear student, this is the website which is used for references. My dear student, now I will take some assessment questions. Try to solve this question p square minus 2p minus 3 equal to 0. The options are y minus 3x minus c, y plus x minus c equal to 0, y plus 3x minus c, y plus x minus c equal to 0, y minus 3x minus c, y minus x minus c equal to 0 or none of these. I am sure you will be able to solve this question. It's very easy. You have to use the factorization method for this quadratic equation and you can easily solve this question like we have done in the example 1. Okay, I think all of you have solved this example. So the correct answer is, so the correct answer is A, right, you are right. My dear student, this is the second question, y square p square minus x square equal to 0 and these are the options x square plus y square plus c into x square minus y square plus c equal to 0, x square minus y square plus c, x square minus y square plus c equal to 0, minus x square plus y square plus c into x square minus y square plus c equal to 0, x square plus y square plus c into x square plus y square plus c equal to 0. Try to solve this question. You can easily do it. Try to find p. You can do it. Now can, can you tell me the answer? So the answer is yes C. The correct answer is C. You can easily do it by taking P square equal to X square upon Y square and P equal to plus minus X Y. You will get two roots and then you have to equate P equal to X by Y and P equal to minus X by Y and putting p as d by by dx, you can easily solve this question. Thank you for patient pull listening my dear student and I hope after watching this video, you will be able to solve the differential equation, equation solvable for p for first degree and higher order. Thank you again.